Oh, how do, Matthew? Hello, Angus. Is the afternoon train due soon? Well, oh, been and gone a half an hour ago. There was a passenger dropped off for you. She's waiting for you on the platform. She? <laughs> Not to worry, Matthew. I don't think she bites. Well, it's a boy I've come for. Oh, she won't have any trouble explaining. She has a tongue of her own. <laughs> I suppose you're Mr. Matthew Cuthbert. My name is Anne Shirley. Anne spelt with me. I was beginning to be afraid you weren't coming for me today. So I made up my mind to climb up that big, wild cherry tree and wait for you till morning. It would be lovely to sleep in a cherry tree, all silvery in the moonshine. Don't you think? Oh, yes, it would. I mean, no. I mean, uh, there's been a big mistake. Oh, no, there's no mistake. Not if you're Mr. Matthew Cuthbert. You are Mr. Matthew Cuthbert, aren't you? <sighs> Mrs. Spencer told me to wait right here for you, and so I've done. Most pleasantly, I must say. Oh, this is beautiful country you have here, Mr. Cuthbert. I'm sorry I, I was late. Oh, no, that's fine. Thank you. It's very light and thin, like me. I better hold on to my bag. If it isn't carried in a certain way, the handle falls off. I mastered the trick of it on my journey. It's a very old carpet bag. With all the sort of luggage I imagine the Lady of Shalott would travel with. But of course, hers would be suited to a horse-drawn pavilion and not a train. 